when it comes to mentors on this team, all these girls serve as amazing things to me. You have seniors who are being leaders on the team. You even have sophomores being leaders on the team. And you know, when it comes down to it, all these girls are my sisters. One of the assistant coaches, Brandy Poole, um, actually put tech as an option for me. She, I've known her since, my freshman year of high school. Um, she was at IU. She um, would watch me play I, and she even recruited two of my former teammates. And you know, the relationship that me and Coach Brandy have grown to have has really helped. And you know, whenever she came to Tech, knowing that I was one of her very first phone calls, it just really warmed my heart because you know, I was coming down to the wire with my recruiting process, you know, being senior year, having to finally make that decision. And then when I got that phone call from her, you know, telling me to come down here, you gotta really see this place. And so I came down and you know, the first thing my dad told me about Tech, he was like, you know, Cheryl Swoops went there, right? So I was like, well, th this is big. Like they want me, like I wanna be there. And then coming here and just the atmosphere and the coaches and the players just make it all better. One thing that I really look for in a coach is someone who wouldn't sugarcoat things with me. Someone who was giving me the harsh truth and told me everything that they saw in me, told me things I need to work on, you know, telling me how it is. And that's something that I need. And you know, the first thing that Coach Whitaker told me is how much she saw my full potential in me. And that's what I need to hear. And especially as a player, you always need to hear the advantages that you bring and things that you need to work on. And Coach Whitaker was not she was quick to tell me that stuff, and that's what I needed to hear. I've seen myself mature on and off the court, really. You know, being 16 hours from home, it's kind of hard at first, but then again, with having the coaching staff that I have and the teammates that I have, we're like a family. So, you know, we're like very close, and um, I think it really helps, you know, with being so far away from home, and it helps me mature, too, as a person. I have a lot of personal goals for the next four years. Um, when it comes down to it, I just want to be the best player that I can be, you know? Um, I really want to win a national championship, but what other school doesn't? So that means that we need to work even harder to get to that. We want to win a Big 12 championship. That's definitely a goal for all of us. And you know, we want to be that team that everyone sees, wow, they are a family on and off this court. So you know, when it comes down to goals, I really want to win a lot of championships, but I also want to become the best player that I can be. Entering the Big 12 and starting a conference was huge because you know, we tried to schedule teams off season that pr would prepare us in different aspects of the game, defensive wise, offensive wise, um, girls who could play zone, girls who could play man. And in the Big 12, you can see it all. You see skill, you see athleticism, you see girls who can do just about anything. You see girls who are six, seven, probably even taller than that. And so when it comes down to it, you know, you have to go into these games fearless and you have to come out fearless. And no matter what the outcome is, you have to move on to the next game because the Big 12 goes by fast.